So guys, welcome back to Call of the Wild. Now, I was going to play a little bit of Medved Tiger today, because it's been a while since we've been to that reserve. And you guys sent me some really cool stuff on Twitter from Hirschfelden and Leighton Lake with animals that I haven't even seen yet. So I thought it'd be cool to do a bit of exploration and see if we could find anything. But then I checked the challenges, which is something I do every single time I'm on for XP and credits. And I found this. There's something on the community tab which has been pretty barren for a while, and it says Battle of the Reserves, Hirschfelden and Leighton Lake. Harvest wildlife down in Hirschfelden or Leighton Lakes to contribute to the Battle of the Reserves. The highest scoring reserve gets new content announced. That's really interesting to me, because they're being specific to which map gets this new content. I mean, obviously, whichever wins, but then they've got to kind of implement that based on the map. So let's look at the scores. We got 57,000 now for Hirschfelden. I can tell you guys that when I first got onto the game, this was at 55,000. Been playing for a little bit, but not as long as you'd might think. That gap's been closed quite a lot, and obviously you can see Leighton Lake is leading the way with 63,000. That gap is definitely gonna close. I mean, we'll check it at the end of the episode and see which both reserves are, which scores both reserves are at. But it's really interesting to me that, I mean, I don't know what it's going to be. The first thing that comes to mind, obviously, is you switch reserves based on the animals. If you want to come to Leighton Lake, you find different animals that are on Hirschfelden. But I don't know. I think it's something more. I think based on the survey that was out a while ago, which I think was like a 36 or 48 hour survey that players could fill out, they've taken a lot from that. And they're going to implement something, either like weapons, gear, Maybe vehicles, maybe it is just an animal. I don't know, but I mean, I'll welcome anything at this point because I have I had no idea they were gonna do something like this. I thought it was just gonna be a big piece of content that was gonna be slapped down in a bulk update, but I don't know, I kinda like the way they've done that. It gives the players a little bit more room to work with based on which reserve they're like. What we got? Oh, she's right there. Hold still. Okay, there we go. First animal of the day. Now, second to that, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this every so often throughout this episode because I'm going to be thinking quite a lot about it. But I guess the majority question that I want from you all is, one, which reserve is your favorite out of the two? Hirschfelden or Leighton Lake? And why? I mean, obviously you guys know mine. I mean, you know why I like Leighton Lake over Hirschfelden. I still like Hirschfelden, but I prefer Leighton Lake. But I would love to know what you guys think and second to that what you think they should add what content you think is coming to each of the reserves or either of the reserves right so the plan for today is i wanted to head north i wanted to kind of head up this route kind of stop between these see what we can find and i wanted to test something now i've unlocked a load more stuff in fact i don't know if i can show you all no i need an animal i unlocked a new skill which is I can now use the ADS on my sights to actually spot an animal. I don't need to use the rangefinders or the binoculars now. I think I unlocked another perk as well, but I can't remember which one I did. I was pumping a specific one, but I can't remember which one it was. So there's a lot to go over today, and not to mention, I'm going to play around with a brand new sight. Now, this is one that I've tried to avoid because I wanted to test it on a specific gun, but I'll show you guys which one I've attached it to because I unlocked it a lot quicker than I thought. Now, you can't see it yet, but if I run in a straight line... Now you can. Look at the top right of the screen. That is called the Red Raptor Sight. And I'll show you guys. It actually looks really good on the top of the gun like that, but if we ADS... I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks really blurry, and I'll show you what it says in the actual inventory system, or what it says about the description about the things. So if we go to Sights, Red Raptor Reflex, it says, A highly durable, robust sight that provides an unlimited field of view. This red dot sight is 100% parallax free, which allows for extremely fast target acquisition without losing awareness of peripheral action. This makes it the perfect choice for anyone serious about flushing and driven hunts. But my problem with this thing is that there's like a smear on the sight. Can you guys see it? I mean, there's a kind of depth of field going on around the outside of the sight, but if you actually look at the green, I can't really explain it, it's just, it's more like a smear. Can you see that? So if we switch to the first sight, look how crystal clear this thing is. This is the Hyperion. And if we switch to the Red Reflex or the Red Raptor, I mean, look at that. I don't know what to make of it. I haven't played with it yet, but as soon as I attached it just before this episode, 
I saw it and I was like, I need to test this because this thing might need a rework. But at the same time, I could be wrong. I might be using it the wrong way. It's probably not meant for the Rhino, but we're going to use it anyway. So I think we're going to head in this direction. I'll be back with you guys if I can come across something. So I'll see you all in a second. Okay, so we got ourselves what looks like a female whitetail. Can't really tell, but look at this. Oh, there we go. I can show you guys now. This is the skill that I unlocked. You can spot the animal through that. So whitetail. Okay, I don't know what range that is, though. It looks so weird with this scope. Right, let's hold shift and... Okay, the rhino makes light work of most things, so... I mean, I don't know. Should we test it on the... I think I'm going to stick to the rhino just because it's a lot of fun. And I love using this thing now. But you guys can tell what I mean from this sight. It's just... It's so weird. And I can't really think about using this sight on a powerful rifle like the 7mm or the 338. I don't know. Maybe it is just for handguns. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. If you've played with this thing, what do you prefer to use it on? Or even if you don't prefer to use it at all. Let's see what we got. Pretty clean shot, quick takedown, flesh, right lung, easy stuff. All right, we're going to continue on the trail. I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, I haven't seen anything for a good amount of time, and usually in these areas, there's either a lot of elk, a lot of whitetail, or even some bears floating around, but there's a lot of birds. So you guys already know what I'm going to try. Now, I wanted to ask you a question after this, but let's see how we get on with the, uh, the raptor sight. Look how different that looks when you look at the sky, too. Is it the same? Oh, it kind of is. It's just that you're looking at all of the uh, the bushes and stuff. Right, let's see if we can get one. We got one. Rhino taking down a bird. Now, I wanted to ask you guys, how would you feel if they added a dog to the game? Now, I've seen a lot of footage from, I think it's Hunter Classic. And as far as I know, you can get a companion in that game, which is a little dog. And I just think it'd be so cool, added to Call of the Wild. I mean, if you have played Hunter Classic, and you know the feel, like the animations, how it performs in the game. Let me know in the comments because I don't know where it is. I think it'd be really cool. A kind of Will Smith. What's that movie called? Oh no, I forgot the movie name. Where he's kind of like the last man on earth. I'll remember it in a second, guys. I always, I don't know why I draw a blank every single time when I'm talking to you all. But I'll get it in a second. But when he has the dog with him and he's kind of, you know, just patrolling around... And maybe, like, give the dog, like, perks and skills. Maybe, like, up its scent or something. If there's an animal in the area or it can catch the scent of an animal or something. I don't know if that's the case on Hunter Classic. But I think there's a lot you could do with that. Maybe, like, a little ammo pouch on the side of the dog, too. I don't know. I just think it'd be a cool addition. to. There's so much that you could add. I'm just kind of going through all the things that I would like to see in Call of the Wild. I mean, aside from, like, new maps and stuff. I definitely want new vehicles. I think that's definitely needed. There's like cool different terrain vehicles. I can't remember the name of it. Is it? I think it's a Bob or a Razor or something. I was going to say a Bobcat. I don't know enough about it, guys. But if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Because I know there's a load of vehicles that people use to kind of traverse different terrain. And I think that would be a welcome addition in this game. I mean, let me know what you think, though. Because what I think should be added to the game isn't necessarily what you guys think. I mean, I did say that a drone would be welcome in this game. With certain limitations. I know a lot of people don't like that. Some people do. But, I mean, it all depends on your preference. Some of the more hardcore people that actually have to do this to eat might not agree with me. They might think it's a bit silly and they want to keep it kind of old school how it's always been. Which is fair enough. But, I don't know. I just think new tech, new gear, new weapons and stuff, it'd definitely be welcomed. I don't know what that is. I thought I'd gotten everything in this area. It's really strange too. This is one of the areas where I actually rotate around to try and come across like herds and stuff. Okay, it's just a blind. It's... What have we got? It's a moose, isn't it? That's a moose. Oh, it's a male moose too. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me over my inventory a second and then I'm going to get rid of the Hyperion off that. I'm going to switch the Raptor onto that. Let's see what this looks like. That looks really good. In a weird kind of way. Still the same sight when you aim down. I think it's because you get to see more of the actual sight. See the, like, the little cap that's been lifted back off it? I don't actually know if I've got my moose collar with me today. Did I keep it with me? There it is. The derpy moose collar. <laughs> okay, there it is. 
470 to 554 kilograms, very easy. Here we go. Let's go for a heart shot. Okay, it wasn't a heart shot. Tagged him pretty well, though. Okay, let's follow. That's the first time I've actually seen the moose not completely bolt it in the opposite direction and not stop running. He seemed pretty calm when he took off. It wasn't that good of a hit either. Is it a flesh wound? No, it's a flesh wound. Oh, this is going to be a long chase. But I wanted to ask you guys as well, now that I think about it, if they were to add a type of dog as like a companion, what variations of dog would you use in this scenario? Because I really don't know. I know some dogs that are used for it, but I think I would be wrong. So I might actually search that after this episode. I mean, I know specific dogs have better scent, and obviously specific dogs based on their their kind of history and stuff will probably be preferred over others. I mean, I definitely wouldn't use my favorite dog, which is an English Bulldog, in a scenario like this. A lazy little fat English Bulldog just running around behind me trying to bite my ankles when I'm out here trying to get some food. <laughs> okay, we're back, and I've been tracking this moose for a long time, but it's not dropping below 50%, and I know how these things are. Like I've told you all before, they're stupidly stubborn. And I don't really want to be going back to where I came from because I think that's the direction it's headed in. But I think a white tail? Is that white? Yeah, it's a white tail. Made a call from over there. What's the range again? There are thereabouts 190 meters. So I want to try and take a shot with this. Try and get it down. I don't know why it shakes like that. That's not me. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got it. Okay, I don't actually know if you guys can actually see that, because again, YouTube changes the quality as to what I'm seeing in the game. But, that was quite far out, and the actual reticle, or the red dot, inside of the reflex site, was covering the entire animal. So that wasn't an easy shot. I don't know what it is about this though, let me just stand still for a second, see if I can show you guys this. I love the other site, like the Hyperion, I think the Hyperion, or the Argus, my favorite sites but if i stand still is it going to do the animation you actually get a look at what this site looks on the seven millimeter so watch the bottom of the screen what does it say there falcon point tactical okay i think i don't think it did the right animation that i wanted it to do all right let's keep going stupid game making me look silly in front of people oh i've just remembered the name of the movies i am legend there we go. I knew I'd get it. I don't know why my brain does that. Like, every so often it just goes blank and then I'll remember it. I am legend. That's the one I was talking to you guys about before with Will Smith. Okay, what do we get? Flesh, left scapula, and thoracic spine shot. Okay, I mean, I'll take... Why did... Why is this bit shattered at the back here? Does that have an effect on the back of the animal? That's so weird. What was the shot? 186.98 meters away. I'm pretty proud of that. Because it's not easy taking a shot with this thing. Like I told you all, it took pretty much the whole animal up with the red dot. Alright, we're going to head back that way and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I made it down the trail and I found another point of interest and it says about the black tail. Though it has been argued that the black tail deer is its own species. Virtually all recent authorities maintain it's a subspecies of the mule deer. What the crap is a mule deer? They're not in this game, right? At least I don't think I've ever seen one. Musk deer? No, musk deer's on Medved, isn't it? I have no idea what a mule deer is. Definitely checking that out. I just found something else really weird as well. If you guys do have the raptor site unlocked, I think there's a bug in the game at the minute. I'll show you guys. I was messing around in my inventory system to see if I could switch around sites, and you can clearly see if I sprint, look at the top right of the screen. That's the raptor site on the rhino. And I can actually ADS with it and everything. It all works. And then I switch to the 7mm, which is the rifle that I'm using. And it's still on that too. So it somehow cloned itself <laughs> onto two different weapons. So I don't know if you guys have got the red... What's it called? The Red Raptor Reflex Sight. I think it's called something along those lines. If you do have it and you want to play around with it, there is a cloning method to it. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is... I'm going to make... Is this another point of interest? It's like in the middle of the road, so I imagine it will be. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I've ever been up this part of the map. Oh, we've got some elk. Do I actually have the elk caller? I should do. 
Uh, Lowe's. Elk caller, yeah, I do. I actually have it equipped to slot eight. I think there's three big male elk moving in. I was just over there a second ago, and I couldn't bring whatever it was over there. I think it was a white tail. And this here, which I thought was a point of interest, there's actually four males there. All right, let's see what we got. A miner there. Another miner, very easy. And there's one just behind, which can't get a sight on. It's another miner. So I think this is the one I'm going to go for. I don't really want to use the... I hate when they do this. Is this another one? Why did they get spooked? You see, this this is why I don't like these blinds. They clearly saw me there. I'm going to go for a shot on this one. So it gives me half a chance. Come on, come up the hill a little bit. I could just see him, just see his head. But I've said this before. This is why I don't really like these blinds. I mean, you can see in the lower right corner there. It's not giving me any kind of cover whatsoever. Just give me half a chance. Come on, you're my last hope. I want myself an elk today. Still can't see him. Can see the antlers just in the distance. Come on, a little bit further. That's all I need. <laughs> Missed. Yep. I am never using the blind again. Let me just see if I actually clipped him, because I don't I don't think. I got lucky with that. I definitely rushed the shot because they were moving off. Okay, I don't think the elk have been so scared off that they've just ran completely in that direction. I still think they're down here somewhere. But you can see over there, there's a lonely white tail that's come in. And if I can't get the elk, then I'm gonna try and get the white tail with the bow. Let me see if I can bring you in. One quick call. That got your attention a little bit. I'm not actually in cover here. Where's the tree? Oh, wait, there we go. That's heavy foot stumps. There we go. Okay. Chance at redemption. There we go. Okay, I don't feel as bad now. I was actually... What is that doing? I was a little bit annoyed with that blind, guys. I'm not going to lie. The fact that you have to spend credits on something which should hide you in, you know, in at least a little bit. But it doesn't, and the animals detect you straight away. Maybe the devs are going to look at it. It was a silver too. Okay, flesh, and it was a heart shot. I'm still trying to do the Valentine's Day thing, which is a weekly challenge. So hopefully that's going to contribute to it. Okay, I'm going to continue going in this direction, see what else we can find. I'll be back with you guys in a second. I wanted to redeem myself, guys. Okay, so I've jumped off the path for a second. I was just up there. I heard a lot of vocalizations coming from down here. I think it's the same group of elk that we were just with. Now, I didn't actually... I didn't actually get a chance. That's a big moose. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. And there's the teleporting again. Oh, I can't wait for the devs to fix this. I was going to show you all the uh, the new perk with this elk. So if you look at the lower right corner, if you press F, it gives you a wind direction. That's quite a strong wind, 3.66, and it's heading north. Let's try it. Okay, I aimed above him. I thought that was right on his neck. Let's try again. Okay, I think that was a pretty decent hit. We can go back and get that one. I want to see what this moose was. I didn't even hear those things. But I will say, though, guys, like, over the course of today's episode, there's been a lot of that teleporting or the animals moving at light speed. It's actually been pretty insane. I hope the devs fix it quick. All right, we got ourselves a gold moose. Flesh, thoracic spine, right scapula. Okay. I mean, that's some good news on an otherwise pretty difficult day so far. I mean, I've been trying to follow the trail. If you're wondering which way I was headed, I kind of started off down here, worked my way up all the way through this section, saw a couple of animals around here. This was where the blind was. Came back round and we've ended up here. I was going to go up there and see what that is. I still might. I'm just going to see if I can get back on the trail of those elk. I also want to take a look at the scoring system to see what Hirschfeld and Leighton Lake are both at. In fact, let's do that now. So, Hunkler Beta... 
community. So Hirschfelden, 58,000 now. So it's slowed down compared to what it was when I first got onto the game. 64,000. So since I've been on, I think this has gone up in, I think, 2,000? It might have been 55,000 when I first got on. But this has only gone up, like, just over 1,000, I think. I think it was 63 before. So you can see the gap could be closed pretty quick with this. I don't know, it's kind of fun. It's like you're pitting yourself against other players. Well, I mean, I guess that's why they call it Battle of the Reserves. All right, let's go and see if we can find this elk. There you are. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the big group of female elk. What is that? Look at the coloration on that thing. That's a really cool color. I, th that's definitely something different, isn't it? I think I've seen you guys post something like this to me on Twitter. Now, also at the same time, there was some moose behind and I picked up a male. Is that it? That's it, isn't it? Okay, 47545. I don't actually have the guide with me to know if it's a higher score. I think I could get a decent score with that. I really want to know what this is. Now, we all know what happened last time when I saw that albino. <laughs> I let the thing go when I should have took my shot. So, just for the simple fact that I really want to know what that is, I think we're going to go for that. And I still have the male elk somewhere over there that I can go and track. Here we go. It's down. Okay, did that scare? It did. Scared the male moose. I'm interested to know though. I'm actually quite excited. I didn't expect we'd see something like this today. I mean, I hope it is something different. It's not just my eyes. I say this every time, but I've been playing Call of the Wild for quite a long time today. Right, what have we got? Let's put the weapon away. No, look at this. This has definitely got a different coloration. All right, so what is it? Female piebald. I think I've seen you. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive that I've seen people send me tweets of this. That's actually really interesting, and it's really cool as well. I've never come across one of those before, at least what I can remember. Okay, is that the male still over there? Oh, you're brave. All right, let me take a knee. Pretty certain that was a good hit. So what I would do now, and this is a quick tip from me, which I think I tried to mention in the previous episode. So this is where we spotted the animal. This is why it's really, really helpful. What you want to do is place your waypoint down there. So now I can come back to that and follow where the tracks go. Now I know I clipped another male over here somewhere. So I'm going to try and track that one down first and see what we got. But I don't know, even with that thing in the bottom right, the, the kind of perk, the, the wind perk, I think it's really useful for stuff like the bows. I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. Where did that male go? Okay, so I found the male elk. He's going for a bit of a swim. What did we get with it? Okay, we got a gold with it. Flesh, stomach, liver, and right lung. I thought that was actually a pretty bad shot. Turns out it was okay. And what was it from? 239.82 meters away. I've been playing this bit of a game on my own recently, especially while I've been grinding up off camera. I've been trying to get some really long range shots. I think my furthest is like 300 and something. But after that, is that still the, the herd over there? Yeah, it's the herd. They're coming back in. They're still hungry. They want their food from this area. Actually, I haven't got that feed zone. After everything or anything over 300, it seems like it doesn't register. I don't know if you guys have had that problem, especially on PC. All right, I was making my way around to where I placed the waypoint and I've just found a couple more moose. What's that down there too? It's a white tail, isn't it? Is that my moose? I don't think it is. I think that's another one. All right, let's see what we can get with it. Tango down. All right, I'm gonna head to the waypoint and see, I'm fairly certain that won't be my moose. Oh, there's a lot of prints over here as well. Is this a feed zone? There was a white tail back there. I tried to take a shot with the bow and arrow, but the, uh, the trees and those huge hitboxes. All right, what have we got? So that's where I placed the waypoint. I'm gonna go and get this moose first. So what have we got today so far? We got a couple of silvers. We've got, we got a gold moose back there. We got ourselves a gold elk. So I mean, all in all, it's turned out a pretty good day. I mean, at the start, especially up there with that blind. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was so triggered with that thing. I had to go and redeem myself with that elk. All right, what are you? It's the lonely female. I'm going to leave you be. What do we get? We got ourselves another silver. 
Okay, what was the score? Seven, four, five. All right. I'm, I'm fairly certain that wasn't the same moose. But this area is good. If you're wondering where I am, I'll zoom out so you guys can all see. We've been here a few times. I think what I'm going to do is take the ATV and find out what these are because that terrain, I mean, look at it. <laughs> it looks really unforgiving. So I think I'll make more time with the ATV, but let's go and see what's going on at this waypoint. All right, so that shot you've just seen me take, guys, it was out of pure frustration. That moose that we clipped, it just does not want to go down. Now, I've seen you guys send me loads of screenshots of how long you've had to track moose and they just end up not going down. Well, in my case, I'll show you all just how far I've been tracking this thing. I went all the way around, came back this way, doubled back, it went back down this way, the tracks disappeared, then they ended up back here. Come all the way back down towards where the lake was. I tracked it even further down south, and then for some reason, the tracks just stopped. They just don't go anywhere, and there's no moose. I spent like a good 30 minutes looking for it, but just nothing. So I came back to where the feed zone was, and I took my frustration out of this. So let's see what we got. Okay, what distance was it? 216 meters. I clipped another one before, and I think this... Was this the shot? Because I did try and get one with a bow but the trees get in the way with the huge hitboxes. I don't know if this is the same one. What was it with? It was with, oh, it was this one. Okay, nice, so we got ourselves a bow kill as well today. All right, so I'm not too mad. I'm a little bit frustrated at the moose. The quicker the devs get to fixing these problems, I feel so much better, guys. But I think what we're gonna do now, because I spent quite a while in this area, I think I'm gonna fast travel to the furthest outpost up north, and I'm gonna jump on an ATV and I'm gonna try and find out what those point of interests are. All right, we made it to the top of the mountain. The first thing that I found over there was just a normal blind, but there is actually something over here too, which I think is a point of interest. Yeah, it is, I can see it on top of the rock. Actually quite interested to see what this is gonna say. Because again, if you guys don't know, there was at one point an update where a load of things were added to the game, like these points of interest. So what's this? A written note, look towards the east. The closest peak holds a secret. Wait, what? towards the east the closest peak holds a secret oh no don't do this to me game so is there something else that we gotta find look towards the east the closest peak holds a secret all right we're gonna grab the range finders so I'm guessing this is a peak this is a peak I have no idea. The closest peak holds a secret. Now, is it talking about this one? Because I think we can actually make it to that one. If it's not, then that would mean... It's none of those. Up there? No, that's more northeast. East would be either this one or this one. I can't really get a look at what's over there. Gotta go find out where it is now. Oh no, what have you done, devs? All right, let me jump back on the ATV real quick. I was also thinking, while I was tracking that moose down there, and I was talking to you guys before about like a companion with an animal, a dog or something, how cool would it be? And again, I don't know if this is in Hunter Classic, but how cool would it be if you could set the dog to look for the tracks of the animal that you want it to look for, or maybe just use it as like a scent thing. And then when it finds it, 
it like lets out a bark or something to let you know that it's found the animal. I think that would be really cool in this game. Alright, let's get over to that peak. I hope it's not the one in the distance because that's miles away. Wait, we got control of it. A few times there's been stuff in the missions which, I don't know, they feel like Easter eggs a little bit. There's not much to go off with that apart from look to the east. It holds the secret. I've got to find the secret. Right, so this should be the peak. Looking for anything out of place. What have we got? This is definitely the east. Anything that way? Okay. What did I hit? Anything here? You see, because the closest peak would be, if it's in terms of mountains, would be that one over there. With the snow on the side of it. But I've got a feeling it's this. The top of it. It's gonna be like a collectible. Oh wait, I think I see something. What's this? Why is that? Like a dagger or something? Oh no, it looks like a spear tip, maybe? Okay, what do we find? Pacific Northwest artifacts. Native axe two. Oh, this was it. Oh, that's really cool. So that's where the handle would have gone. And these are like relics of a time past. I love stuff like that. The way the devs implement stuff like this into the game, it's really cool. We've also found this one. I don't know if I showed you guys this. This is another one of the native axes. We also got the World War One badge. Sacrifice and survival. I'm just saying though, guys. I'm just saying. If there's any devs listening, it would be so sick. If you just looked up into the mountains like that, you saw something just wading across. I'm not going to say what it is. You guys already know. Like a, a Yeti or a Bigfoot, maybe. It'd just be so good. The actual range on these range finders is not that great. Look at that. It's really blurry. But I think it is time to end, guys. We actually turned it into quite a successful day. A couple of golds, a couple of silvers. We've got to venture around a little bit. We found a little Easter egg in terms of a native axe. But it's all good news. Actually, what we didn't check was if we go to the Hunt Club beta community and let's see how everything's doing now at the end of the episode. 58,636 is what we're ending at. And Leighton Lakes Reserve, 65,000. So they're kind of going at the same pace again now. When I got on before, this was definitely closing the gap. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which is your favorite reserve? And if you could add one thing to a particular reserve as a piece of content, what would it be? I'm starting to think the dog. I really like that idea. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments below. For now, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.